Can AI help create a greener future? That's the theme of the World Climate Industry Expo, titled Energy for AI and AI for Energy. It's a critical issue for energy importing countries like host nation South Korea, which is adopting renewables that are much harder to integrate into the power grid than coal or gas. Solar power and wind power make up less than 10%. Ultimately, it means energy import costs can also be reduced. AI might also improve efficiency for big emitters like transportation, farming and heavy industry, as well as boosting recycling, including of rare earth metals. Through this, we have created a solution that allows rare earth metals to circulate within the urban ecosystem without the need to extract new metals from mines. South Korea is investing billions to become a global artificial intelligence rival to the United States and China, where AI development is currently driving up emissions. The United Nations warns by 2030 global data centers needed to power AI could use more electricity than the entire energy consumption of Japan. Right now, AI technology consumes an enormous amount of computing power and electricity. But as the technology advances, at some point, AI technologies that can reduce power consumption will also be developed. But even the most optimistic forecasts predict AI won't be enough to meet the UN's 2030 target of cutting emissions by 45% or reaching net zero by mid-century. So while summits and expos like this one offer promising ideas and partial solutions, the big question of how to achieve those global climate goals remains unanswered. Jack Barton, Al Jazeera, Busan, South Korea. Don't miss out. Get the full picture. Subscribe to Al Jazeera for reliable news and expert insights. Like, share, stay ahead.